hello and welcome back to this channel once again in today's video we are going to learn how to decompose a rational function whose denominator contains a repeated factor in the form ax plus b all squared into partial fraction so given a rational function which has a numerator and the denominator is made up of a repeated factor in the form ax plus b all squared then the repeated factor is going to have two partial fractions in the form a over ax plus b and then b over ax plus b all square so if you have a rational function whose denominator is made up of a repeated factor the repeated factor is going to produce two partial fractions that is a over ax plus b and then b over ax plus b all square where both a and b are all constant. Now let's consider this question. How do we express this rational function into partial fractions? So we have the rational function that is 5x plus 4 divided by x minus 1 times x plus 2 all square. Now looking at the denominator, we have a linear factor and a repeated factor. So the linear factor has a partial fraction of a over x minus 1. And the repeated factor has two partial fractions. So because we already have a, then that's going to be b over x plus 2. And then c over x plus 2 all square, where a, b, and c are all constants. Now to express this rational function into partial fractions, we need to find the value of a, b, and c. So the first thing we are going to do is to find the LCM. So the LCM becomes x minus 1 and then x plus 2 all square. Notice that x plus 2 is a factor of x plus 2 all square. Now we divide this by x minus 1 and then we are left with x plus 2 all square. So this becomes a times x plus 2 all square plus when you divide this by x plus 2 you have x minus 1 times x plus 2 x plus 2 cancels one of the x plus 2 here so this becomes b times x minus 1 x plus 2 and then when you divide this by x plus 2 all square you are left with x minus 1 so this becomes c times x minus 1 now this is equal to the rational function 5x plus 4 divided by x minus 1 x plus 2 all square here you realize that the denominator is the same so we need to compare the numerator so we have 5x plus 4 is equal to a times x plus 2 all square plus b times x minus 1 times x plus 2 plus c times x minus 1 so here we are going to find the value of a b and then c from this identity we have x minus 1 x minus 1 so we can put x equals 1 so that b goes to 0 and then c also goes to 0 then we can find the value of a so put x equals 1 in that case, we have 5 times 1 plus 4 equals a times 1 plus 2 all square plus b times 1 minus 1 times 1 plus 2 plus c times 1 minus 1. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 4 is 9. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So we have 9a b goes to 0 c also goes to 0 so we divide through by 9 and then we have the value of a to be 1 so a is 1 now let's find the value of c here we have x plus 2 x plus 2 so if we should put x equals negative 2 then a goes away b also goes away then you can find the value of c so we say that put x 
equals negative 2. So we substitute negative 2 in place of x. a times negative 2 plus 2 square plus b times negative 2 minus 1 negative 2 plus 2 plus c times negative 2 minus 1 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6 so we have negative 6 we have negative 6 equals this goes to 0 that is a goes to 0 b also goes to 0 because of negative 2 plus 2 and then we have negative 3 times c so this is equal to negative 3c you divide through by negative 3 and then we have the value of c to be equal to 2 so c is equal to 2 a is equal to 1 now let's find the value of b now to find the value of b we can choose to expand this identity that is the right hand side or we can put in x equals 0 now if x is equal to 0 none of the constants will go to 0 however because we have the values of a and then c we can substitute those values in here then we can find the value of b so let's put x equals 0 now if x is equal to 0 5 times 0 is 0 0 plus 4 is 4 so we have 4 equals 0 plus 2 is 2 2 squared is 4 so we have 4a 0 minus 1 is negative 1 0 plus 2 is 2 so negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 times b so negative 2b 0 minus 1 is negative 1 negative 1 times c is negative c now we have the value of a to be 1 we have the value of c to be 2 let's substitute those values in here so 4 equals 4 times 1 minus 2b minus 2 4 minus 2 is 2 we transpose 2 to the left hand side we have 4 minus 2 which is equal to negative 2b 4 minus 2 is 2 so 2 equals negative 2b we divide through by negative 2 by negative 2 we have the value of b to be negative 1 therefore we have a to be 1 b to be negative 1 and then c to be 2 therefore the rational function 5x plus 4 divided by x minus 1 times x plus 2 all square can be expressed in partial fraction as 1 over x minus 1 minus 1 over x plus 2 plus 2 over x plus 2 all square now in the second question we are going to express 5 minus 3x over x minus 2 all square as partial fractions Here we only have a repeated factor. We don't have a linear factor. So we are going to have two partial fractions. So 5 minus 3x divided by x minus 2 all square is equal to a over x minus 2 plus b over x minus 2 all square. As usual, let's find the LCM. So the LCM we have x minus 2 all square. x minus 2 all square divided by x minus 2 is x minus 2. So we have a times x minus 2. x minus 2 all square divided by x minus 2 all square is 1. So we have b times 1 which is the same as b. Now this is equal to the rational function 5 minus 3x divided by x minus 2 all square. Since we have common denominators, then let's equate the numerators. So that is 5 minus 3x equals a times x minus 2 plus b. Now looking at the identity, we have x minus 2 here. So if you should put x equals 2, then a goes away, a becomes 0, and then we can find the value of b. 
so we say that put x equals 2 in that case we have 5 minus 3 times 2 equals a times 2 minus 2 plus b 5 minus 3 times 2 is negative 1 this is equal to 2 minus 2 is 0 times a is 0 so we have b to be equal to negative 1 now let's put x equals negative 2 we have the value of b we can substitute that here to find the value of a so put x equals 0 we have 5 minus 3 times 0 equals a times 0 minus 2 plus b 3 times 0 is 0 so we have 5 minus 0 which is still 5 equals 0 minus 2 is negative 2 times a is negative 2a plus b now since b is negative 1 then we have 5 equals negative 2a plus negative 1 so we transpose negative 1 to the left hand side we have 5 plus 1 which is 6 equals negative 2a we divide through by negative 2 by negative 2 we have a to be equal to negative 3 so the value of a is negative 3 therefore the rational function 5 minus 3x divided by x minus 2 all square in partial fraction can be expressed as negative 3 over x minus 2 minus 1 over x minus 2 all square